It's a golden late fall day in Madison, Wisconsin. The top distance runners in the Big Ten have gathered in Madison for an event they've circled on their calendar all season. The women's race appears to be wide open. The men's race, well, that could be the same old story. Wisconsin looks for its 12th straight team championship. They run like deer, they run with style. Welcome to Madison. We're just about ready for the start of the 2010 Big Ten Cross Country Championships. They're next. Madison, Wisconsin, the Thomas Zimmer Championship Cross Country Course for the Big Ten Cross Country Championships. Perfect weather for late October. Temperatures in the mid-40s with light winds. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Madison, along with 1985 NCAA Men's Cross Country Champion Tim Hacker. I'm Jay Wilson. Well, Tim, in addition to your NCAA title, you won three Big Ten Championships in Cross Country. Tell us the importance of the Big Ten Championship to these runners today. This starts the championship season. The runners know here they have to do well in their own backyard if they want to do anything on a national stage. It's three weeks before the nationals. They can correct a few things, but they've come in here rested and ready to go. The course is a bit of the story today as well. This is the Thomas Zimmer Cross Country Course in its second year of existence, and some people are calling this a masterpiece. This course is gorgeous. I've run on cross country courses on three continents, and I've never seen anything like this. It's fast. The wide sweeping turns is flowing. They've chose varieties of grass just to make this course look good and run fast. We're going to see some of the spectators all bundled up. It's a little chilly for them, maybe, but for the runners, this is nearly perfect weather. I think it's great. 45 degrees and light wind. If I was running here today, I don't think my feet would be touching the ground. I'd be so excited. All right, let's uh, look ahead to the competition then. For the women's team title, Penn State is the defending champion, but the Nittany Lions have had their share of struggles this year, so that probably opens up the field to just about anyone. It is. There's five of the top 30 ranked teams in the country here today. I think Michigan State, Minnesota, and Michigan are probably the ones to watch, though. Individually for the women, who should we keep an eye on? Caitlin Peel from Michigan was, is the top returnee. I think she's going to be good. Emily McLeod from Michigan State, also one of the top returnees, is going to be very good. I think Danielle Toro from Michigan is also probably the one to watch. I think she's going to win today. Let's talk about the men's team competition now. The big story coming in is Wisconsin. The Badgers have won the last 11 Big Ten cross-country team championships, but the Badgers should get a challenge today. It's going to be very difficult to knock off the Badgers on their home course with their home fans, but Indiana, they're coming here. They're running with some passion. They whipped the Badgers here a month ago. They've got good guys, 1,500-meter types, which should favor this type of course. They're going to be hard to beat, too. And the men's individual competition, Hassan Mead from Minnesota won the last two individual championships in the Big Ten, but he has not run this year with a collapsed lung. That opens the door for someone. Elliot Krause was the top returnee from last year from Wisconsin. He was challenging Hassan late in the race, but sort of ran out of real estate. I think he's going to be hard to beat. Mo Ahmed, who's the Big Ten, 10,000 meter champion on the track, also a 10,000 meter All-American. He's a very savvy, very smart runner. I'd put my money on him. Indiana has a couple of runners who could win, in particular redshirt junior Ben Hubers, who took fifth in last year's 3K. Let's now bring in the third member of our broadcast crew, Susie Favor Hamilton, nine-time NCAA champion, 23-time Big Ten champion. Susie? Unbelievable course. Best course I have ever seen in my life here in Madison, Wisconsin. I am at the mile mark right now. We have a great big downhill behind me. This is a point in the race where you could possibly see some runners make their move. And whoever emerges from the secluded woods could possibly be our Big Ten champion. And another thing, it takes guts, determination, willpower, and energy. So whoever displays that today could become our Big Ten champion. The women's teams are going through their final warm-ups. They're just about set to go for their six-kilometer run to determine the individual and team champions. We're at the Big Ten cross-country meet in Madison. A big crowd is gathered here for the Big Ten Cross Country Championships at the Zimmer Championship Cross Country Course in Madison, Wisconsin, as they anticipate the start of the women's competition just ahead. Beautiful day for late October in Madison. Temperature 45 degrees, light winds out of the northeast, and partly cloudy skies. As we compete on the 6K course 
here at the Zimmer Championship Cross Country Course. And the runners are at the start line. 97 will compete today in the women's race. And they are underway. And Tim, when you have almost 100 runners starting off at the same line, trying to get kind of the same spot, a lot can happen in the start, can't it? There's always a little pushing and shoving. You want to establish your position early, get to the front. If you can, if that's where you're going to end up. And State, the defending Big Ten women's cross-country champion. They won their first conference title last year in 2009. But it's a competitive field. Five nationally ranked teams, 14 of last year's individual top 20 finishers are back to compete in the women's Big Ten cross-country championships again this year. Individually, it's, there's no clear favorite here. And I think team-wise, it's the same thing. I think, again, any one of five teams can win. Probably any one of five individuals could win today. There you see the early leaders, Emily McLeod, the redshirt senior from Michigan State, leading Danielle Toro from Michigan. Toro also a senior. She hails from Manahawkin, New Jersey, the Michigan team captain. They're setting an excellent pace early. Everyone goes out fast, and then they settle in. And right now, Michigan State senior Emily McLeod is the one who's settling into first place, leading Danielle Toro of Michigan. Let's go down to the course now and Susie Faber Hamilton. This is a great course for rhythm runners. If you're a rhythm runner, you're able to just take it out and to keep that stride going. Tim, talk a little bit more about what Susie's saying, a rhythm runner. What exactly does that mean? That means someone who, who's not who's faster, who's not likely to uh, like a lot of changes in paces. They're going to want to get at that pace and just hold it there. They don't want a, a, a lot of change in pace. Well, Emily McLeod continues to set the pace, and her coach, Walt Drenth, was asked if the Spartans are the favorites to win what could be a very muddled picture for the Big Ten Women's Team Championship. I don't think we've thought of ourselves as the favorites most of the year. I think we, we look at the conference and, and think that there are four or five teams that have a chance to win. Uh, Minnesota has the experience in, in uh, kind of holding up a, a tradition in the last couple of years of winning. So I feel like um, our objective really isn't to defend a spot or any, anything like that. I think we just want to come in and see how well we can run. That's main, our main objective. There you see the national rankings. Villanova number one, but five Big Ten teams in the top 30 in the country. They're all ranked really close to each other, and as Walt said, there's no clear favorite here. Any team, I think, could come and win. It just depends on what kind of day they're having. Walt Drenth has been a very successful cross-country and track and field coach. He's been a collegiate coach for over 25 years. Coached in William & Mary, Arizona State, Central Michigan, and now Michigan State. And he's looking, hopefully, in his mind, to the Spartans, perhaps a women's team championship. There you see McLeod still leading Taro. And you can see the maroon and gold of the junior from Mankato, Minnesota, Stephanie Price. And we asked her how she prepared for running on this course today. Um, I think the biggest challenge with this course is just to keep your head about you throughout it. Uh, it's hard getting into a big championship situation and not, you know, going too crazy with the whole crowd and all the energy, but also not, you know, setting yourself back too far just going out there and staying relaxed and running your own race. Tim, that sounds like a wonderful plan, but that sounds like it might be easier said than done. Huh? It always is, because you know what you want to do, but you don't know what anyone else is going to do. They may go out harder than you want. They may go out easier than you want. They may not play into your strengths, or they may be uh, trying to exploit your weaknesses. Well, Stephanie Price, only a junior, but she's experienced. She helped Minnesota to a 10th place finish at the NCAA championships a year ago. And she's in a perfect position here. This is where I would like to be, second or third place. You can keep an eye on everyone. You're not really doing a lot of work. You're getting a nice draft in there. McLeod still leads, but that's been a familiar picture for quite some time now as Sarah Peasy, the redshirt senior from Indiana, number eight in the red, is right off McLeod's right shoulder. And also there is Danielle Toro, the senior from Michigan. They just crossed the 1,000 meter mark there, and, and it's hard to lead this whole race from start to finish, but Emily McLeod looks like she wants to do it. And again, the Purdue runner, Buscombe, hanging with that lead pack. 
Still now a little more separation from the top five or six. Still the big names leading the way. McLeod, Sisson, Price, Taro, PZ. They're probably at the highest ele elevation on the course now. And you pretty much know by this point in the race how you're going to feel. And you have a pretty good idea if you're having a good day or a bad day. Well, no surprise that Emily McLeod is looking strong here in the early part of the race. She was Michigan State's top finisher at the Adidas Invitational. Second place overall, a meet that was run on this Zimmer course earlier this season. She had a career best time of 2015.8. Top seven runners have separated themselves from the rest of the pack. Here's Susie. Coming up on the mile mark here, 5'10", 5'11", they're out to a great pace. This part of the course is relatively flat, so they can still um, keep and maintain that pace. Again, it's a rhythm runner's course. They don't have to worry about breaking that pace very often with the uphills. So we continue with the leaders, PZ, McLeod, Price. Right now, it's too close to call. We'll continue with the Women's Big Ten Cross Country Championship in Madison.